Can you step maybe one step closer to the market? Yeah. I don't want to be too loud. Either, so. Put the back it won't be loud yeah. enough, trust yeah. me. Is that good enough? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Let me know you're ready. It's thinking. Okay. One, my name is Ben Ten. Last name spelled T-I-E-N. Executive Assistant Chief for the Houston Police Department. To the right, I have Chief uh, Bashir. He is the Assistant Chief oversee this patrol region and also uh, Commander Hasek and Commander Rubin and Commander Spears. Uh, they all respectfully commanders, one over the Southwest Division, Southwest Division, and Commander Spears is going to oversee the Homicide Division who will be conducting the primary investigation of this incident. What we have today is a uh, what started off as a uh, stolen vehicle investigation that resulted in a pursuit, vehicle and foot pursuit, Turn out, end up in a officer-involved shooting. Uh, we have one deceased uh, suspect. Our officer uh, is not injured at this time. So uh, I will go with some details and I will open up the floor for some questions. So at approximately 8.45 today, our officer attempted to stop the stolen vehicle at the 6600 block of Hillcroft. And you put in perspective, it's roughly around like a, a mile down the road and it's in the southwest part of town. So as the officer attempted to stop the stolen vehicle, the vehicle refused to stop, subsequently led the officer to a vehicle pursuit. When the suspect, while chasing the suspect in the vehicle, when he approached the intersection of Clarewood and Renwick, he lost control and almost struck a pedestrian. Unfortunately, he did not strike this pedestrian, but also lost control and struck a fence. Then he also, at the time, he jumped out of the vehicle and continued to evade from the officers on foot. Also subsequently chased him on foot to the apartment complex behind me at the 5800 block of Dashwood. As the officer was pursuing the suspect, he actually was holding a firearm in his hand and from the officer's account, they believed the suspect was pointing the firearm at them. Subsequently, they discharged, striking the suspect multiple times. Uh, shortly thereafter, additional units arrived. They attempted to, to approach the suspect and conduct life-saving measure. Unfortunately, the suspect was transported and he did not survive his injuries. Now, you guys may have some questions concerning a stolen vehicle, but I'll, I'll cover that momentarily. But to keep the scene simple, I just want to cover the officer involved shooting portion and a vehicle pursuit portion at this time. What are your questions? Did the suspect get any shots off? Did he fire, actually fire sweat? Well, as I, I do want to reiterate, as you can tell, the scene itself stretched over like roughly one or two miles radius. It's a complex and it is a huge scene. And the investigation is extremely preliminary right now. So I don't want to make any assumptions, right? But that will be part of the investigation. Yes, the suspect is in possession of a semi-automatic firearm. Can you describe, describe the suspect at age? Uh, tentatively right now, a Hispanic male, uh, mid-20s. That's all we have. He's still working on the full identification. And also, once we identify him, we're going to make some notification to the families as well. The officers are, were involved. How long have you uh, We have two officers involved. One officer has three years. And the other also has about five years, both in the early 30s. Were they in a two-man unit or a separate? They are two separate units and from cover from two separate divisions. Now, if there are no other questions to that, I do want to briefly cover the stolen vehicle. The vehicle the suspect was driving is a 2014 uh, silver Toyota Tundra. And it was stolen last night around midnight or this morning, how you want to, how everyone to split it. Uh, what happened was the two suspects stole the vehicle. When the complainant of the vehicle attempted to stop the suspect, they discharged firing at the complainant. Fortunately, the complainant was not struck last night. Now, I do want to mention that uh, my chief was actually on scene uh, mm -hmm. checking on the officers. Uh, unfortunately, he is uh, slightly under the weather, so he cannot be here you know, speaking to you guys right now. But uh, hey, I, I, I know that uh, it's still preliminary, you know, things may change, but uh, let's not make an assumption so far. And most important thing is, uh, despite, you know, whatever happened, I just want to keep the suspect families in our prayers. I mean, I can only imagine once the family find out the news, what they're going to be going through. Was anybody transported to the hospital from this? Because I think there's footage uh, that civilians took of 
uh, somebody being transported to a hospital. That was a suspect, no. right? So, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, there's also okay. did attempt some life saving measure. Yes, sir. And then uh, he was su transported to a hospital, which at that point, you know, upon arrival, okay. he was pronounced deceased at the hospital. And the suspect was a uh, so and single occupant, and he was also the driver. Very fortunate officers were not injured. They face tremendous danger every night, I guess, on the street. Now. Yeah, so uh, you know, uh, you know what they uh, they face this every night on a regular basis, and uh, sometimes they have to, uh, you know, come in a position, you know, working late nights, long hours, and uh, you know, have to make those split second decision, right? So yeah, but thank you for asking. But thank you for your time, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. <laughs> hey, look at all the shots fired, friends. Are y'all seeing that? There's more down there. See, I don't know if you guys can see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like about eight shots. Possibly between eight and ten, maybe. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Where's the... Where's the little troll homie that's out here? So the truck, if you watched the earlier video we did when we were on the other side, that truck is crashed into the, the fence, a wooden privacy fence. Right here, on the corner. Okay, that lands real quick. Right over here on the other side of the truck. Man, it's so messed up, y'all. No, I was not in the area when it happened. That's it. I think I'm done for the night. I think that's it for me, y'all. All right, so we just heard from them. One deceased, two taken to jail. Pursuit, stolen vehicle. Tried to pull them over, but they, they refused. They kept on going. Uh, they crashed over here. Some, one of the suspects uh, that was armed, uh, officer involved shooting. Grizzly's Hood News? Grizzly's Hood News? This is Guys, in the face with, uh huh. Okay. That's what you me. This is. 
Pero ustedes estuvieron aquí cuando pasó todo. Yo estaba en la tienda saliendo. Oh my god. Estaba saliendo y mm -hmm. comenzaron los disparos. Oh my god. ¿Fueron varios disparos? Fue una, una rafa como como mata como como pólvora. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright friends, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I, I got me a hood news peep tonight. We got a new one. <laughs> we got it one more to the family. Alright. Yeah, this looks like I think this is the Gulfton area. I don't want to say for sure, but I think it is Gulfton area. We're real close to Via Content Contentos apartments. Via Contento apartments. <clears throat> Lots of HPD units out here. There's even more on the other side. We got, got two crime scene units on that side, then two crime scene units on this side, and I think some crime scene units in the center. Let, let's go see real quick. Man, y'all be safe, man. I wonder if they got limonada. I'm gonna give me a limonada. Whatever went down, it went down right here like that. Yep, I'm just glad no officers were hurt. Because this could have had a whole different outcome. I think they said one guy three years, and I don't know how many the other guy. What's up, ER Rojas? I'll go check it out. If somebody's asking my wayside. I'm I live out that way, so I'll go check it out. But yeah, all the way down there, look. That truck is over there. You, I don't know if you guys can see the truck. That's that tundra. You see how it crashed into the fence? It's kind of blurry image, but. Let me see if I can get that real quick. <laughs> Somebody said, was that Joe Biden walking with my stimulus check? What? Man, y'all are out of control. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Man, y'all are tripping in the comments. Bye, friends. I'm going to go get this limonada. Love y'all. Be safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're hauling ass somewhere. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Uh-oh. Hood news in the making. Dang. What happened? What happened? Ooh, it's active over here on the Southwest. Shh. Got to get out of here. All right, friends. Something else. Look, fire department's here, too. What? Ooh, it's active out here.